doesn't stand a chance. These parts are deadly. Any idea how they're powered? No, why? Well, if we knew, we might be able to put them out of action. Attack them? Are you out of your mind? Well, they're only robots. Only? Do you really think we could destroy one? It would be easier if we had a gun of some. The laser gun. Okay. Cully, I think we stand a chance. <laughs> Take them to the others. Oh. I'll set them to work on the drilling site. Work, potential, and stamina to be recorded and sent for analysis. Agreed. If any of them should escape, then you will report the fact to me. No personal action. So from now on, we're on our own. You creatures, follow. When these horrible tests were over, they just let us go. Did you discover for what purpose these tests were carried out? Yes, to see if we were intelligent enough to use a slave. Evidently, you were not. No. I would like to make a suggestion. Yes? I know it is the way of darkness to discuss and to deliberate, but the situation is urgent. Send someone to the island to confirm what we've told you. Yes, and while they're away, we can be thinking out some plan to tackle those dominators. These dominators, they let you go free. Why should we fear them? Because they are aggressive, callous, and unfeeling. Don't expect them to think and act as you do. They're alien from another world. Well, so are you, Doctor. Oh, dear, you got me there. Oh, for heaven's sake. Look, are you going to send someone to that island, or are you not? Patience, young oh. man. Doctor, what, in your opinion, do these dominators want? Well, I'm not sure, but I heard them say that the material was readily accessible. Probably some sort of mineral ore. <laughs> there are no valuable minerals here. They're welcome to whatever they can find. There is no cause for alarm. Yes, but then there's the matter of the disappearance of the radioactivity from the island. That could be significant. Why seek menace where there may be none? Well, you can't just sit here and do nothing. Why not? Haste is not in the Dalsian tradition. Maybe. Better do nothing than do the wrong thing. Oh, yes, that's a debatable point, isn't it? Better to do nothing than to do the wrong thing. Hmm. Yes, the start of Doctor Who's sixth season there, the Dominators. Dominator Rago and Toba. Yes, and at the beginning of that sequence, we saw the Quarks more robot killers. Again, unusual, they were never used again in the series. I think some bright spark might have thought they would replace the Daleks. Ha ha ha! <laughs> uh, we saw Cully at the beginning of that scene, looking quite sweaty after his labour. Uh, again, there's some interesting themes going on in this story. Um, the idea of pacifism and whether pacifism can actually be a weakness. And in this instance, the aggressive dominators are, are trying to, if memory serves me correct, drop a bomb into the core of the planet as a source of fuel for their vessel. Um, great to see the Doctor and Jamie, they're interacting with the Dulcians. Um, slightly uh, odd costumes for them. Um, almost looks like priestly robes, doesn't it? Perhaps emphasising you know, their pacifist tendencies. Um, and of course, uh, Dominator Rago, I think the actor would go on to appear later in uh, The Ambassadors of Death with John Pertwee. I thought that when I first saw this one that it was a cracking story, um, quite gripping. Uh, unusually a five-parter, I believe... 
might be the first ever five-parter in Doctor Who. I think there was some issue to do with episode lengths in perhaps the first two stories of this season. Um, but yeah, lovely to, to see that again. Happy memories of the quarks.